Once upon a time, in a forest far, far away, all animals lived peacefully. There was lots of food and lots of water. The rabbits gets his little carrots, and the squirrel and mouse collects delicious walnuts. All the animals in the forest lived peacefully and in harmony. But one day, a big elephant came stomping his legs from a distant forest. It is said that animals there kicked him out for his many troubles. Still, the squirrel and rabbits welcomed him among them. An elephant eats neither rabbits nor squirrels, they said. He only eats plants, and we have plenty in here, they said. The elephant built himself a big hut. He cut trees and he cut branches and many little birds had to fly away and leave their nests. The big elephant fell asleep and his snores reached deep in the forest. In the morning, the big elephant woke up thirsty. He put his big trunk into the stream and he drank all the water. He was munching all the leaves and the flowers and the plants. Mmm, the food in here is delicious. The squirrel was watching in terror. He called his friends, the animals, and said, Look, the big elephant just ate what we eat the entire spring. If the elephant keeps eating our food, we will soon have nothing to eat. He must leave our forest. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I will talk to him. He is a nice big elephant. I am sure he will understand, said the squirrel. So, the animals went to speak to the big elephant. Hello, said the squirrel. You are a nice big elephant. We always welcome you to live among us, but you are eating our food and drinking our water very fast. Soon, we will have nothing to eat. The big elephant looked at the squirrels and the other animals and said, I am a big elephant. I need lots of food and lots of water. I do not care if you eat or drink. The forest is big enough for all of us. This is my home now. The animals sadly turned and walked away. We must find the solution, said the squirrel. I know, said the rabbit. How about we dig a big hole for him? By the time we finish digging the hole, he would have finished all the food. We can invite the lions. Elephants are afraid of lions. What if the lions decide to stay? I am tired. I think we should leave the forest before it's too late. The next morning, the big elephant went out eating the leaves and stomping on the beautiful flowers and singing and shouting loudly. And he went on and on every day. At that moment, the beaver was passing by and heard the conversation and said, What is the matter, my friends? Why are you so sad? The little rabbit replied, 
It's the big elephant that came to our forest. He is destroying our plants and eating our flowers. When we told him about it, he told us maybe we should leave him alone. The beaver said, It's true, we don't share your struggle, but you are my friends. And I don't want you to leave your homes. You just need to go to the big elephant and tell him that an even bigger elephant is on his way to the forest now. And his big stomps can be heard from afar and shakes the entire earth under him. And if he sees you, he will beat you. The darkness fell and the big elephant said to the little animals, I think I will get inside my cottage to sleep. You're crazy if you think there is a bigger elephant than me. Right there, a big noise was heard through the forest. Trees were falling left and right. Big stomps were heard loud. The big elephant looked in terror. looked at the little squirrel and said I will leave now please do not tell him about me the little animals looked in surprise as the big elephant galloped away beaver is that you? The beaver laughed and said, Yes, dear friends, it is me, and my fellow beavers are with me, and it was us who were cutting down the trees. I said to myself, perhaps losing a few trees is better than losing the entire forest because of one big selfish elephant. You are my friends, and it's our duty to help each other. All the animals were so happy that the big elephant is finally gone. Happiness once again came and the birds came back to their nests once more. And all this because of the beaver who because of his wit was able to save the forest. And everybody finally learned that even the smallest creatures is able to come up with bigger plans. <laughs>